Now, speaking of shopping locations, let's go back to New York right now in Times Square. You know the famous Toys R Us in Times Square? Well, Cheryl Cassoni is standing by there um, with the CEO of Toys R Us on this Black Friday. Cheryl? Uh, that's right, Connell. And you know, it's interesting on a day like today, it is Black Friday, so you've got massive crowds here in New York City in Times Square. And whether or not it's, it could be a, a terrorist attack, it could be protesters, anything, whenever you have large scales of people, and then, of course, you have customers going in at a store, sometimes you see stores that are targeted. And, and what, that's one of the things I want to bring up with Dave Brandon. He's the CEO of Toys R Us right now. And I want to ask you first, uh, there's some breaking news today. We're seeing the protesters in Chicago, and it's over a, a murder, we should say, in Chicago. They're targeting retailers on Black Friday. They're specifically trying to disrupt shopping. If, you, if this was happening right here in Times Square today at this store, how would you handle that as a CEO? The most important thing you do is you protect the safety of your team members and of the customers. And even though we don't have any of those kinds of demonstrations happening here, we, we make all kinds of preparations with the NYPD. We work really closely with our own internal security departments to make sure that our stores are secure. And certainly if you're in a hot spot where you have that kind of a situation, you bring in more people and you make sure you protect your team members and your customers. That's what's most important. Well, certainly since 9-11, Times Square, New York City has been a, it's been a target. But again, it's a very it's a peaceful, but it's a very busy, crowded day. Yes, it is. We have throngs of people in the store right yes. now. Let's talk about this. This store opened 5 p.m. last night. How, yes. are the, how are the numbers so far in the traffic? We had a pretty good day yesterday. We had a good store in our bricks and we had a good day in our bricks and mortar stores. And we also had a really good performance on our web store. So it was a pretty good day. We're glad we opened up because we had a lot of customers. We had 2,500 people lined up waiting to get in this store at 5 o'clock. Here in Times Square. Okay, well, we were, we were talking about toys and things earlier. I know that Disney's Star Wars, <laughs> those are the hot, hot toys. What kind of bump do you expect to get? I'm sorry, but it's got to be a big one. Well, Star Wars we on. expect it to be. We have really good inventories on a, a vast assortment of Star Wars products. We have a store within a store. You can walk over here and you think you're entering its own separate little Star Wars world. Right. And we've got an enormous number number of SKUs dedicated to Star Wars. I can't let you go before asking you really, really quick. The big story here in Manhattan, this store is closing December 30th. We all want to know where is the flagship store going to go? Can you tell me? Come on. If, if I knew, I would tell you. We're, we're saddened to see this store close. It's been a great run here. We're looking uh, as hard as we can to find another location here in Manhattan because certainly we want to have a store. All these kids in this store right now want you to find another uh, location. Amen. I just amen. want to say that. All right, Connell, we're there you go. We're live here in Times Square again. It's a busy, busy day. A lot of crowds. We'll see what the numbers are because I'm sure as you're finding out at the Short Hills Mall, it's all about online versus brick and mortar today. We'll get those numbers on Monday. Back to you out in New Jersey. Thank you very much, Cheryl.